So one thing that companies do to avoid the problem of legacy systems is that they try to procure or buy for themselves what we call as enterprise resource planning systems or better known as ERP. Now these ERPs are um, huge systems which have a centralized core. All the information is stored at some centralized core and the access to the information is given to the people in the organization according to the rules set by the organization. So that's a key element of ERP. Um, so unlike in legacy systems where the information is distributed across the organization and uh, maybe in different formats and accessing is difficult and we could have political problems, when we have an ERP, most of these problems are irrelevant. Now, two things I would like to add here. Number one, is that ERP is not just about having a centralized server and all the wires connected and data being transferred to the relevant department. A key part of ERPs is best practices or good business processes. So all these ERP companies research on the best way to do a certain task and uh, they create processes based on that research. So when we are buying an ERP, what we are essentially doing is also trying to find out which company provides us with the best business processes that are suitable for our industry and our company. Number two is that uh, buying of ERP will not solve all the problems. ERPs have a whole set of problems that uh, they bring in, but I want to focus on two key problems. Now, one is uh, buying of ERPs is expensive. So small firm and ERP may cost around um, $75,000. And uh, for a large multi-country, multi-business firm, it can go as high as $10 million. So number one, getting an ERP is um, uh, an expensive task. Number two is ERPs are usually associated with substantial organizational change. The way we store information, the way we do work, the way we report information. Now, since this involves substantial change uh, and uh, change is difficult, most ERP processes are not able to deliver the promise of the great success um, because most organizations are not able to change as much as um, they are expected to. And uh, so while ERP solves a few problems, um, they are known to bring in a new set of problems on their own.